Hey there, this is Beth, the Sweet Urban Living Lady, and I am so glad to share my next um, craft, my next uh, project with you that I am making in my kitchen today. I've been making different kinds of breads and pies and doing things with apples because I went to the uh, Ella J Apple Fest and got lots of delicious apples. And so today I am using my scraps to make apple scrap vinegar. So uh, a lot of us use apple cider vinegar in, in our kitchen on a regular basis. And this is not apple cider vinegar because I'm not making my vinegar from apple cider. I'm making my vinegar from apple scraps, the pills, the cores, the leftovers from doing things over the holidays. Um, and you can do this anytime. It just happens to be right after Thanksgiving. And so we've had some yummy apple pie. We've had some apple bread and done other things with it, put it on a charcuterie, just amazing things with apples. And so what I'm going to do today is make apple scrap vinegar. I'm going to start the process because it's a two week process at least for me because I am using raw local honey to make the, uh, the fermentation go. So the first thing that we want to do is I've already got uh, four cups of filtered water. I have a reverse osmosis machine in my kitchen and I've already got four cups of water and I am going to use two tablespoons of honey. Now you can use sugar instead, but since I don't tend to use a lot of sugar, I'm going to use honey. And so I have set aside just over a pound of apple scraps. And so I'm gonna use two tablespoons of honey and four cups of, of filtered water. So um, let me get number two. That is some delicious looking honey right there. This is raw local honey. You can use um, any kind of honey. I don't typically recommend using uh, honey from the grocery store because it may be filtered, it may not be pure, and it's most definitely not gonna be raw. And I like raw. It's um, gonna have, still gonna have the antibacterial properties things like that. And that's why when you're making your apple scrap vinegar with honey, you have to give it a two week period to ferment. Because if you're doing it with sugar, you can do a one week fermenting period. But with honey, because it's naturally has that antibacterial, it takes longer. So what I'm doing first is I'm mixing my honey and my water to get the honey dissolved. This is such an easy process. And then next, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take in a bigger bowl, I'm gonna take my apple scraps. I've already weighed it out. Like I said, it's just over a pound. And then I may have to add more water because what we wanna do is we wanna cover up the apples. Now, if you have some that float a little bit, that's that's fine, but we definitely want to cover it. So I'm going to, and I'm going to go get uh, one more cup of water. I'm going to add just a little bit. So I'm not even actually measuring, just getting a, to, to my um, tablespoon and just got just a little bit out. I think I got this really cute snowman um, spatula at Hobby Lobby a year or two ago, and I've loved using it during the holidays, during the Christmas season. So, of course, like I said, you can make apple scrap vinegar any any time of the year. You don't have to do it in the fall. It's just when it worked out for me. All right, so now I'm gonna take this and I'm at one more cup. Um, and 
like I said, it's floating. If you'll notice, it's floating, which is not a problem. Um, but I did have just a little bit over a pound. And so the next step is we're going to, now you don't have to stir it today, but what we want to do is for the next uh, two weeks, at least once a day, we're gonna come in here and stir this up. But we're gonna keep it covered with a, a tea towel that doesn't have um, any um, fibers, that doesn't have um, like terry cloth fibers in it. So that's it, we're gonna take that, we're gonna set it aside for two weeks. Oh my goodness, doesn't that look beautiful? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm going to just pour my liquid into a quart jar. Perfect. And then I'm gonna take um, this cheesecloth. We want our apple scrap vinegar to sit for um, for another month. And normally I would use a ring. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna take an, uh, a rubber band and just put it around it because we still want this to get air. So now we're gonna set this on our shelf and just let it sit for another month, getting more and more vinegary, getting more acidic, and then we'll be able to use it in our recipes. Okay, it's been four weeks since I strained my apple cider vinegar and have been stirring it, and it's time to pour it in. It's our final step. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stir. We've got some beautiful mother at the bottom. And this last step is so easy. We're just gonna take a funnel. I've got a slightly tinted jar here. A uh, bottle would be more appropriate, I guess. And I'm gonna pour this in. And I also have one that's more clear. That's fine, either way works. But now I have amazing apple scrap vinegar for using just like I would apple cider vinegar. Um, now, one thing to remember is if you're going to use it for canning purposes, your um, vinegars have to be at least like a 4.5 acidity. I've got two different kinds of stoppers. I've got a more permanent stopper. And then I have this really neat wine pour, beverage pour stopper that I'm adding to. And so when we use it, we just wanna swirl it before using, and then I can pour, um, pour it out quite easily. And there we go. I hope you have found that making apple scrap vinegar is really quite easy. It doesn't take all the steps that going through making apple cider vinegar takes, but you still see we've got this beautiful cloudy vinegar that has all the health that or many of the health benefits of apple cider vinegar. And so we can use this um, in our salads and our cooking, whatever we need to use it for. And I'm excited to give it a try. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe to our channel, like, and make sure you hit that bell because when you click the bell, that means you're getting notifications anytime we release a new video. Thanks for joining me on Sweet Urban Living. Mm -hmm.